Tech here. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how you can get your Tyrannus QX7 hooked up to your Beta 65S light. So if you've seen the Beta 65S light, um, you'll see that it runs on the Bayang protocol. So you will need a external module for your Tyrannus QX7. I am using the one that was supplied by Beta FPV, which I believe. Give me one second, and I'll get up the model name of it. So this is for the MTX-9D module. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, the first thing that you will need to do is go ahead and install it in the back of your Tranus. That's really easy. Um, it's got some jumper pins. You go ahead and slide the um, module over. Once you have that installed, We'll go ahead and go through the setup. So I go ahead, went ahead and named this uh, just light so I could differentiate it from my other quads. You're going to want to scroll down until you see your first internal RF module, which you can see. There we go. Sorry, I keep going past it. You're going to want to make sure the internal is off right here. You're going to turn on the external, you're going to set that to PPM, and you're going to have your channel range set from channel 1 through channel 12. Once you get that done, um, that's it for this part. So you're going to hit page again, and you're going to go to your inputs. You're going to need to make sure that this is A-E-T-R. I believe by default it's um, T-A-E-R. So you'll go ahead and change that. Then you'll go to your mixer, and to change your rates, um, by default, it's set to channel 9. So what I did is I went to my mixer, I set up channel 9 on switch SA, so that, that way I can change my rates. And once that's done, that's pretty much it for the Tranus. So now you go ahead and power the Tranus off. You will grab a battery for your light. We'll plug this in. You'll notice that at first it starts blinking and then it blinks rapidly as it um, configures the accelerometer and right now it's actually looking for the bind. So we'll go ahead and turn the transmitter off or turn it on. You're going to want to hold, oops I messed this up, hold on one second. So to bind, you want to keep your stick, your left stick center down. You're going to push your right stick up and to the right, and you're going to power on your transmitter. And then you let go. You'll see we got some the rapid blinking stopped, and now it's solid, and we're good to go. That's all you need to do. This will. Uh, um, you know, get you to be able to fly with your Tranix QX7. Um, out of the box, I was able to fly with the Jelly Bean controller with no issues, but this is going to be really awesome because for my son, flying with the Jelly Bean controller, no issues. But for me, I just I used to fly on it, but it's too big of a pain in the butt for me now. Um, I'll be sure to include all the gestures, just so you know. Um, the main gestures that you're going to be using most commonly are going to be the following. So if you want to enter acro mode, um, after you've bound, you're going to go ahead and hit left, left, down. You'll notice on the quad itself it'll blink. That will mean that you're in acro mode. If you go back to auto level, you're just going to go right, right, down. Once doing that, you'll see another blink, and then this will um, put you back into auto level. Um, you can actually change your PIDs through stick commands, which is really cool. So if you want to um, cycle your PID terms, so if you want to go from P to I to D, you're going to do up, down, up. And um, if you want to change the PID axis, so if you want to make changes, then you're going to be doing up, down, down. 
So if you're going to, going to be increasing the values or decreasing the values, these are the commands that you're going to need for that. So up, down, left will decrease the selected value. So if you're trying to do decrease your P, your I, or your D, you will use up, down, left. And up, down, right will increase. <clears throat> and then when you want to save uh, and calibrate your accelerometer, all you have to do is hit down three times on the stick. So you do one, two, three. You will see a blink and it will calibrate the accelerometer. This will also save your PIDs. So this is pretty much everything you need to be able to fly the Beta 65S Lite with the TransQX7. If you guys have any questions or issues, please let me know. I'd like to say um, thank you very much <clears throat> to Scott Ellis on Facebook. He was the one who um, helped me get this figured out. Um, he found the correct stick inputs and a wonderful set of directions, which I will also include. Um, so, like I said, if you guys have any questions after reviewing that documentation in this video, definitely feel free to ask. I would love to help. But I think that's going to be all for me today. I am going to attempt to try to fly this around and uh, hopefully get some DVR so you guys can see this bad boy in action. So, um, like I said, I think that's going to be all for me today. So, as always, fly safe and fly often.